Good afternoon and welcome. It's Sunday, so we'll have a lazy chat. Now, I was hoping to have a pint on the hand pull of the 80 shilling and have a chat about that that I brewed a week or so ago. But it's fucking rancid. Um, bad case of ethyl acetate, I think. And it just, yeah, it's getting poured. Okay, drain pour. So, not good. So instead, I'm going to do a little bit review, really, I suppose, while I'm here. And so this little BOT, Old London Porter by Bowtie Brewers, which is Peter Hodge, who on YouTube is known as Watford Junction. So I bought a tilt off him a while back, uh, and he sent me a couple of beers with it, which was very nice of him. Sadly, one of them was destroyed in the post, but this one survived. And he says this was the better of the two. I, I can't even remember. I don't even know what the other one was. It was still all like just broken glass from that. Um, five percent all London Porter, bottle conditioned. Uh, inspired by early Victorian London Porters, expect complex flavours of dark chocolate and biscuit reminiscent of a chocolate digestive. Deep and dark, smooth and malty. Sounds lovely. Right up my street. So let's get this cracked. Uh, Ooh, you did a little bit of gun smoke. This is the first beer I've ever had of Peter, so I'm really interested to see how it is. Um, it's been sat in my fridge for, well, my keys are now for a good couple of weeks. Um, it's been out, out the free, the keys are for a while now, so it should be a decent serving temp. I mean, it might be a little cold, I suppose. Oh, look at that. Okay, looks a cracker. Lovely carbonation. Nice little creamy head. Yeah, and then sort of a little tan coloured head. Oh. I didn't really go for a roll, did I? I was just straight, dive straight in. And immediately. Mmm. Yeah. That's nice, that isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? You haven't had it, have you? You might have had one. If you haven't, get one. I think you should. Yeah, because it's nice. Hmm. Yeah. Not, not very bitter. I was expecting. I was expecting more bitterness. I know, I know these, <coughs> like old London pots and things that Peter does. They're like ridiculous IBUs on them usually. Um, I say ridiculous, I mean quite high. I think he does one that was 200 IBUs or something. I think that was his Imperial. Anyway, this one's not 200 IBUs, I'd imagine. I don't know what it is. It doesn't say. Um, it's malt, uh, Marisotta, brown, amber, black, torrified wheat, and East Kent Goldings for hot. Not sure on the yeast, but it's some kind of ale yeast, no doubt. Yeah, it is all about the the malts really in this, and they are nice. Uh, it is a chocolatey. There is the chocolatey there, and the ch chocolate digestive, like he says, it's very nice. And the hops that are there. Um, they don't really take away anything. You don't notice them whatsoever. But obviously, they, because it's quite sweet, I imagine quite a lot of sweetness from those malts, it just sort of takes the edge off it. And then leaves a, a little bit of end bitterness, very slight, just enough for you to go, mmm, I want another drink. Get that sweetness back. It certainly fades and leaves a pretty clear palette, so... That was really nice. Thanks for that, Peter. So much appreciated. I still enjoy that. What are we done doing then? Right, so we've got a drain pour, uh, 19 litres of what should have been 80 shillings going down the drain. So uh, yesterday morning, I got up early, and I say early, I think it was about half four, quarter to five, um, and got a brew on. I've done the session 2021 again, that was um, Golden Promise, um, 
I think it's two or three, two, two kilos of Golden Promise, 750 grams of wheat, and a kilo of Munich. Um, and it's done with Challenger for bittering, just about, I think about 15 IBUs. I think it paid out 15 grams at 9.4 cent for 60 minute point. Um, I think it came about 15, 16 IBUs, something like that. Anyway, so that's um, for the bittering. But uh, there's a little bit more. At the five minute mark, I go in with uh, 20 grams of um, vacant vacant gesture, uh, Idaho 7 and Vic Secret. That's, what I want. That's the V I wanted. Vic Secret. Uh, yeah, so 20 of each of those at five minutes. And then after that, there's a hop stand. At ATC for 20 minutes of Citra, 25 grams of Citra. Um, and, me, and this time I've gone with the uh, Cross Maloof Kentucky yeast. Now, I post about this on the Facebook page, yeah, you know, the BrewTube official, and it, <laughs> it seems that other people, well, there was one guy who says it, it's come across quite Belgian. Um, and it's turned his pale into a Belgian pale. Um, and I know this has happened to another friend of mine. He had uh, Mike, my mate Mike, actually. He has a saison at the minute, and he's like, when we were there the other week, he's like, oh, here's my saison. I'm like, that's a banana, isn't it? He's like, yeah, it is. I think they fucked up your yeast again. Um, so I have known it a few times as well. A few other people have mentioned that they got the wrong yeast. With them. So we played the uh, Cross Molly of Bingo Yeast Bingo game. Uh, so I'm using this Kentucky yeast, which apparently is used to be called the Cali Common. Well, yeah, the California Common yeast. And hopefully it will be okay. Um, it comes out banana -y, Well, that's another fucking dream, Paul. But there we go. We'll save with that one. At least it shouldn't be fucking the acetate shape that I've ended up with this time. And I, I know really what it is. I pitched onto the yeast cake of the last session 2021, which I did. And I'd used, um, I tried to use the West Yorkshire Ale yeast and it just wasn't working. So I chucked in a lot of the old from garden and it worked. And now that was fine. I then chucked this uh, onto the yeast cake of that and I had it at 22 degrees. Now I'm guessing possibly that some of that West Yorkshire Ale yeast that did kick off and really didn't like the 22 degrees being too high for it and chucked out all this fucking knuckle acetate instead. Um, that's all I can think really for that. Uh, but it's ruined it. Totally ruined. As soon as you pour it and smell it and then just taste it and it's just like, just, nah, just chuck it. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. So I did uh, the brew on Friday. I'll get another brew on this week, hopefully. Um, I'm not sure what, again, I'm never really sure what to do. I might do a wheat beer. Everyone's doing fruity wheat beers. Um, I was out for a drink yesterday, actually. I went out, actually first first pub, actually inside a pub in, ooh, not without eating for, well, you know, just for, for a few drinks since God knows, must be two years now. Um, I had a couple of trips to a, a local pub last summer but that was having a food and a pint um just lunch and a pint before coming back home to pick the young one up from school um uh, he was at his grandparents yesterday um because his cousins were visiting so he went there and uh so the missus and i popped out for a few and it was nice really nice but i had a raspberry wheat beer that was the weirdest raspberry wheat beer ever because for a start off it wasn't red in any way shape or form it just, I, I would like to say it looked like a wheat beer, but it was clear as well. Um, tasted a lot of cloves, a lot of cloves, a hint of banana, and, and I think there's strawberry, whether uh, raspberry in there, not strawberry. Um, but I couldn't tell whether it was my imagination or whether it really was in there, so I, that was disappointing. Uh, I can't remember whose it was. It's one of those, because you can't look at um, labels now, can you? Because you have to go and sit at a table, so you don't see the bar, so you're, you're asked... You're getting told what there is and such, or you get a bar menu if you're lucky. Um, and you just saw, oh, yeah, and we've got a raspberry wheat beer on. I'm like, yeah, oh, I love that place. Um, after that, I think I had something from a Leeds brewery, um, an amber 
Hell, that that was that was a hand pull. I was like, do you know what? Because I can't use the hand pull. I'm quite into having a hand pull now. And now, so it's like one of those things, isn't it? If you can't have it, you want it. So I was like, yeah, I got one of them hand pull, and that was really nice. Uh, yeah, so I went there, went to uh, did a couple of pubs, had a couple of pints, uh, and then went up to pick up the sun. So it was nice to get out. I, I imagine a few of you have done it already, and. Yeah, it's like, wow, what happened? Why? <laughs> when did it change? And the thing is, that some of the places, I'm like, I've gone in and gone, wow, yeah, it's nice to be back. And other places, like, you're there and going, well, it's fucking paint's peeling, it's not clean and stuff. You know, you've been closed for so long. Wouldn't it have been okay to, you know, just, like, get a paintbrush out and paint the bloody walls and such and do some, sort it out a bit? Other places have, but some of the ones I went to, I was just like, you really haven't, it's not really made an effort, and I'm not enjoying being here as much as I thought I would. Um, I'm not going to name any names, because we've made nothing to most of you anyway. Uh, but yeah, it was just in the other one there, and I was just like, why? Why am I even bothering this? There's no real atmosphere anymore, because obviously you're at you're single tables, no one's talking to each other very, because we're all trying to avoid each other. Um... And it, it's a bit scruffy, and you think, well, I, I'm paying five pound a pint. I may as well do this at home and cheaper. At least the surroundings are better, and I can put the telly on, and I can actually get up and walk about without having to put a mask on or, or, and all that. So it, it's disappointing, I think. I think things need to change in certain places. Um, I think there needs to be a new outlook on what it is you're providing. Now, that's just my opinion on it, really. It's just a shame, I think, that a few of these places still think that they can just carry on being squalid places, chucking beer at you, uh, quite expensively, that you can make yourself a lot cheaper, you know. I know there's all the overheads and that of having a pub. I understand all that, and I know all that. But it just seems to matter trying. Um, maybe that's down to, because maybe they're um, owned by chains and stuff, and... I mean, I haven't been in the Weatherspoons, I'll be honest, and I probably won't. I, and it's nothing to do with the, uh, the... They should go get jobs at Tesco's. Yeah, I got that. That that The jobs will wait for them when they come back, kind of thing. No, it was more the way they dealt with the suppliers and refused to pay them. and Even the small ones, they chucked stuff at them and just said, no, we, we can't afford to pay you. I was like, well, they're going to go out of business then, aren't they? Thanks even though you owe them the money. Um, that kind of needled me. And his Brexit. And his fact that I think he's a fucking potato face freak. More than that, yeah. Um, bit of a rant there, wasn't it? Any of the brewing news? Oh, my bet. This is my only glass, decent glass left now. My favourite glass got smashed as well this week, which wasn't good. That was disappointing. Um, I was cooking outside um, my barbecuing area, and I've got like a it's like a steel framed thing up that you can put to, as a cover on. It's supposed to be like a bar gazebo type thing, but one of the posts is kind of just behind where I have the commando, and I turned around and knocked it, and I caught it quite hard, so it shook the whole thing, and I had a glass. My favourite glass was on the bar top, which is like a glass top, and it fell off and smashed. It. Just disappointing, very disappointing. <coughs> oh, me. Talking of barbecuing, I've been doing a fair bit of that of late now. I mean, even though it's been raining a bit, I've managed to catch it kind of just right, really. Uh, it either rains before or just after I've cooked, so I've been quite lucky with that. Um, Smash burgers, Kelly Babs, um, a pulled pork. I even did a, a butterfly leg lamb joint. Uh, leg of lamb, a butterfly deboned leg of lamb. That, that was really nice. Um, don't often get to do lamb because the missus doesn't like it. Um, and the kids aren't too keen on it. But yeah, I love it. I love lamb. Uh, and I'd cook it all the time if I could. But I can't because they won't treat it and moan about it if I do too much anyway. Yeah, I've done a fair bit of barbecue. And now I started doing me on flatbreads and naans. And that's just like, whoa, it's like going up another level. Um, and you're just like, 
whoa, 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 when wasn't I doing this before? So really enjoying that. Tried pizza the week. That, I just think I mentioned that. That was a nightmare. Too hot, too quick. Um, if you're not watching, you either burnt the bottom or it was not cooked on top. So I need to work out temps and properly on that. And I think I, oh, I did fuck up the temperature. The grid, you know what I mean. They have like a big, all you know, these things have like a big temperature gauge in the lid. Um, and that's fucked now on mine. I, I think I over, overdid it with the heat on the Commander for the pizzas the other week. Uh, it kind of just went, bleh, doesn't work anymore. So I, I, I probably had it over hot. Should have just used my normal temperature probes. Anyway. Absolutely loving this. I have to say, Peter, this is a, this is one of those beers where you can just sit and drink and drink and drink. Which is what you want, obviously, because then people are buying and buying and buying. Which is perfect for you. I mean, look at that lovely colour. They've actually got quite a big body, really, for what I think of as a porter. Try to build a good mouthfeel. Certainly, it's got a better mouthfeel than Guinness. I mean, Guinness is pissed these days, isn't it? What it seems like it. Real thin, watery. This has got a real body to it. And so we come to the end of the football season. And what time is it now? It's quarter to three. In another hour and 15 minutes, we kick off for the last games. Uh, I think Man City Everton kicks off a bit earlier, but I'm not sure why that would be. Unless that's just the, the coverage started at three for that and the other started at ten to four. Um, but yeah, um, I'll kind of... Last chance saloon, really, for Liverpool to get into the top four, isn't it? I mean, they're in the top four now, but they have to. They're only there on goal difference, and Crystal Palace is the bogey team I always find for Liverpool. They always have been. I mean, it's Roy Hodgson's last game in charge. Yes, they've got several injuries uh, and ch out of the first team, but then so has Liverpool. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a nervous one for me. I'm going to be there. Ten to hooks with this. Pardon me. Um, it's a shame because I'd like, I'd like Spurs to beat Chelsea for Leicester to win and Liverpool to win, and that to be, then that Chelsea aren't in the top four, so Leicester get to go in the play in Europe. Because I think I also want Chelsea to win the Champions League final, and then they'll get to be in next year as well. So it's a win-win-win that way. Otherwise, it looks like yeah, Leicester will be out. Um, or Liverpool are out. So, I'd say quite tense that. Uh, we're, well, we're up to 18 minutes. I haven't really talked much about brewing because I haven't done really much. Um, I don't really have much to say about it. Uh, I need to get some more yeast, I think. Uh, I want to get some more of that West... Uh, I can't keep on just calling it West Country Yale yeast. It's not, is it? It's West Yorkshire. West Yorkshire Ale. I should remember that, shouldn't I? I want to get some more of the West Yorkshire Ale yeast because what I had, I, I dried. Um, well, actually, I should actually have a go with the Erlen Meyer, shouldn't I? In the stir plate and get some going. But I need to get some some DME. Uh, I had some. I thought I had some. I found it in there, but somehow it was sealed. But somehow water, some liquid must have got on it because it gone absolutely rock hard, solid. You could bend it and it snapped. So I have to go get some more of that so I can make a starter. Yes, so I'll have a, maybe have a route about for that for tomorrow when I'm off. Um, so, from both libraries and myself, I'd say I've got this far, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm going to go sit and enjoy the rest of this beer. Cheers for now.